All right, we got our first sprouter and our 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 spider farmer dome right here. We're going. It's our uh, snappy. My daughter is going to do the transplanting. It's down right there. We're gonna go ahead and transplant it into these cute little four-inch square pots. This is going to be her first transplant, huh, baby girl? Your first one. What does transplant mean? Um, it's being when you take the plant out and put it in a different cup. Yes, yes, you got it right. Ah. You, got it. you got it right. Why are you so smart, huh? What makes you so smart? Okay. <laughs> Yes. No. <laughs> taller. She, she is taller. So we're gonna take our our um our dome off. So what we did, what I did in the spider farmer dome, is I grew these. Uh, I germinate. I started germinating these seeds hydroponically inside this inert uh, foam uh. foam cups right here. And I'll kind of go over all this stuff here in another video. But right now we're just gonna do transplant. Stand right here, stand right there, get your hands dirty. No, no, come on, come on, get out of here with that. Okay, go ahead, how do you do it? You're gonna take it out, lift this out. Right. Pull it out. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna push it out. See the bottom, so the bottom of this spider farmer, this dome, this little germination kit, it just pushes out like this. We're gonna pull it. They're soft bottoms. They're made so you know the transplanting is easy. There we go. I'll let you take it out. Go ahead. They just said pull it out. And yep. Yep. I'm doing all the talking. Oh, grab it by the cup. There you go. Put it in. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. We have, we have a couple of options here because this is still small. You see this root right here? Mm -hmm. You know what they call that root? What? That's a tap root. Okay, hold on. I'll come check your work in a minute, okay? Tap it in the... It's a tap root. You know what that root is responsible for doing? What? Just going straight down and digging itself really deep and trying to find all the what? Water. The water. You're such a smart girl. <laughs> Your head's gonna blow up. You're so smart. I don't know what to do with you. So we have a couple options. It's still really small. We can pull it out of this foam cup. Okay, it won't hurt the roots, right? Mm -hmm. Or, or we if if you really wanted, we can just make it super simple and we can go straight into the dirt with no plastic cup. Yeah, pull it out. Pull it out. Go ahead. I'll let you do it. Pull it out. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Pinch it right there. There you go. Gently slide it out. We slid it out of this. These little. Thank you. Yep. Show the roots. See? Woo! We have to. We have to take these roots out, but we can't. Okay. <laughs> All the other roots are are gonna eventually. <laughs> you you like to be a little interrupter. Press your hands in there. Press your hands and get dirty. Use both of your hands and go like this. Okay. I don't have anything. Okay, press it down a little bit. Ooh, it's such a yeah, compress it. So we're gonna do just this, just a little bit, very lightly. We're gonna make it all even, right? There you go. We're gonna give it some stability within. We're just we went ahead and transplanted the foam and everything. Just, we just did it. We're going to go ahead and put our, our dome back on to the spider farmer propagation module here. This is pretty handy. This is pretty unique. So there's like a dozen little dozen little modules here. And um, made of soft silicone plastic. Here. Put that right there. Made of soft silicone plastic on the bottom. 
So, you know, when, when you go to get them out, you just push this up with your finger. It slides right out. This is ingenious. It's a genius. I'm telling you, it's incredible. It's all right, all right. So now, show everybody your plant. This, this, this one is uh -huh. and we, we, we just planted it, and then and a snap pea. What kind of plant is that? A snap pea. A snap pea. All right. We're gonna grab, get some peas from that thing. We're gonna eat them with some hummus. Daddy's favorite. Some snap peas and hummus. We're gonna make hummus. You wanna make hummus on the channel? Yeah. All right, come on. We're gonna put it in the back. Daddy, I see a little, I see a little snap pea. You see a little snap pea? Yeah, right there. Ooh, you're so cute. I love you. I love you guys. No, it doesn't like this. Okay, it okay. Is. What we need to do is we need to Put our cilantro. Oh. Cilantro. Right we need to put all of our plants back in order. So this will be the first one. This will be right here. Yeah, that'll be the first one. Right here. Okay. Right. Yeah, whatever right. works. Right that we transplanted. That was our first transplant, huh? Yeah. Was that your first time you've ever transplanted? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. All right. You know who liked it more than you? What? Me. Boof. <laughs> okay. Ah, you're squeezing me to death. Okay. Oh, what do you got to do after a transplant? What? What do you got to do after a transplant? Water. You got to water it. I got to water it. Water your transplant. I got to water this one. Water over here. He's the it. Here. He's the grown it. Give us some water right He's there. He's the grown it stuff. Yes, I like this little bottle. It's pretty convenient. Is it easy to use that bottle? Yeah, 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 pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. convenient and easy. It'll right now, it's just water. Thing. It's just filtered tap water, reverse osmosis, mixed in with a little bit of tap water because we want, you know, some kind of nutritious value there. Some whatever's in the tap water here, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably pretty gross. I think the PPMs here are like 580. Yeah, is, is it coming out the bottom yet? Is it coming out of the bottle? Yeah. Woo! All right. It's going down it! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is going to leak everywhere. What are you going to do? We need to we, we need wipe it. Oh. Okay. You need to wipe it up? Yep. Oh. Okay. Ah! Ah! I was going to call Paw, Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Beater on the double. Ah! It's going this way. Chase. Chase is on the case, right? Chase. Woo, Chase is on, that's his name. Isn't that Paw Patrol's name? Yeah, Chase. Chase, yeah, exactly. All right. Ah! All right, there you go, guys. That's our first transplant in a week or a couple days, probably even a couple days. We'll probably do, once a majority of this right here, once a majority of these yeah. um, are germinated, and we're ready to transplant them. We'll probably do the rest of these on camera as well. I'll see you guys in a few. Peace. Wow. Did you water? Yeah, Already water. done? All right. 74 degrees. Clip fan from Spider Farmer going. Right now I've got this as an intake, so it just brings air into the tent. We got our first sprouter right here. That's our first bean. Boop. Underneath the, oh, this is the uh, spider farmer uh, seed propagation dome. Pretty good, huh? What do you think, sweetie? You learning science? You got any sprouters over here, honey? No. 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 Not yet. Did we, did we plant any snap peas here? Yeah. I think so. Oh no, we got three. We got three snap peas right here. And broccolis and uh, peppers, rainbow peppers and spinach. And these are all grown with no dirt, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, how are they not growing with dirt? Exactly, it's science. How are they not growing with dirt? Without getting too technical about it, we are using the sponge as a replacement uh, medium for for the seeds 
So the seed sits in there just like that right here. And then absorbs the water from the sponge, right? And then starts to germinate once the temperatures are right. Right? I can't wait to get our very first snap pea plant. Me too. What is the what is the day on that? 8 to 12. 8 to 12. 8 to 12 days. Yeah. Wow, that is yeah. quick, pretty quick germination. I think we got like five, huh? Not probably not even probably about five days, would you say? Maybe less, Eight huh? To 12. Maybe about five. It hasn't been that long. Yeah. All right. You gonna put the dome lid back on? It's a fantastic, like modular tent system, and it's an even better project to, to you know, have with your kids and teach them how to do things, and how to grow tomatoes and. How all this stuff works. Oh, you got a horrible cough. You always bring that stuff home from school. So this is an intake, bringing in fan, bringing in fresh air. Spider Farmer Vortex fan. It's like a Vortex style fan. It's pretty cool. I'll tell you that. All right, guys. I'll see you Woo! in seven days. Pretty cool system. I like it. I mean, if you're using this for propagation of um, our typical plants that we do on the channel, then man, you could have the 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 scenarios here are endless. The possibilities are endless. You could have clones, teens, and just constant turnover. If you got, especially if you got like perpetuals back to back. I'm just using this top shelf up here as like a like a work tray, if you will. It's got lights on it. Spider Farmer LED light bars. These are the Glow 80 bars. It's got another one up here. Um, I'm, I'm assuming once all this stuff kind of grows and fills out, we'll be we'll be using this area here. We'll be using all tiers of this system. It'll be pretty unique. And then we got two bars here, and then two bars here. And uh, man, you could turn this into float module, NFT module, DWC module, yeah, kind of like an ebb and flow style system. Like I said, the possibilities are endless with the system. It's pretty, pretty cool. Cause these are like those ABS plastic trays, you know, those four by fours, three by threes, the whites and the blacks. Those are just tray inserts and typically they'll drill the holes and you can make you know any kind of style system to go here which is what i'll do you know eventually we'll get into some you know, this might just stay here indefinitely actually i might just order another one for the other uh for the other you know rooms so but this is pretty unique and I'm, I'm digging it we have another seed germination tray right here and uh which is pretty cool oh and I, uh, the kids are having fun. We're all liking it. That's it. That's just for the kids, you know, to have fun with your kids and teach them stuff too. Like my grandmother taught me when I was a kid, but she taught me outdoor stuff. <laughs> and I seen something like this when I was a kid. I would be like, whoa, that's like spaceship stuff, you know, which is probably what she's thinking. Like, how do they grow without dirt? And this whole setup to her is like spaceship. Uh, you know, it's like, it's, Hard to understand, but she'll get it once she sees it all happening. All right, guys, I'll see you in a week. Peace. You giving them a good water, eh? What happened? Wow, look at that. The snap pea. Woo! Those are the ones that we're going to do early, right? Those are the ones that said it was going to sprout the first, the soonest. Do you like your little garden set up? I love it. It's fantastic.